Hey YouTubers, Wood Pops here. This next top is one that I discovered while searching the internet and I happened to find a website in Germany that made a top similar to this and I was intrigued by it so of course I had to make one and I don't know the German word for it but um, what I call it is a catch top. This is my little catch top. And this is a catch tower. And the idea is to spin the top inside the little dish and have it catch every time on the rim. And I wanted something like this that I could present and sell to executives who are on the phone a lot. And what they can do is while they're on the phone they can relieve their stress by spinning the little top or trying to because it does take a little bit of skill it took me uh, quite a bit of tries to learn how to spin this just right so that it spins in the catch tower and it catches on the rim every time just like that. There's a certain design, certain measurements, everything has to be just right. It's a little bit like the tippy top. So if you want to make one of these, there'll be blueprints down in the credits. And by the way, when you're down there in the credits, make sure you subscribe and hit notify so you can get all of my videos. I don't know if you can see, but over my shoulder here is a whole lineup of the catch tops that I've made so far. Some work great, some work okay. The ones that didn't make it, I turned them into just regular little spinning tops that spin on the table. Okay, I'm ready. How about you? Stick around for the video. Make sure you subscribe and hit notification. I'm ready to go. This is Wood Pops on Spinning Tops. All right, all right, all right. Let's go. <laughs>
have this little template I made to help me out with that. So here's the tip of the top right here. So I want to come down to that so that fits right on there. Okay, I want to leave a little bit there, so that's good, right there. Okay, what I want to do now is I want to work down to the tip. This part right here that I'm showing with the tip of my parting tool, that has to be exactly the measurement called for because that's the part that catches on the rim. This part right here also needs to be exact. You don't want it too big. You want to get everything just right. shaft diameter right there needs to be just right also. I've got a measurement there for the shaft. You can see it. I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to measure that. Oops. Okay, that's perfect and I've chosen this piece of plywood because the thickness of the plywood is the exact distance between the edge of the top and the edge of the spinning wheel, whatever we're going to call that. So that right there is perfect now. So all I need to work on now is just getting this right here, this width, just right. See, I'm getting pretty close. matches up there to the tip of the top. So we're going to call that good. 
Okay, the next step is going to be to hollow the inside out. What we're going to do now is we're going to hollow the inside of my catch top. And there's a couple of things that I did. I made this tool out of an Allen wrench to, to hollow. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. Also made uh, this one out of a screwdriver. So I've got these two tools that are handmade just for this project. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to use my pyramid tool to get started on the hollowing because this is such a short spot. There's not room really room to get in there. I find that I can start my hollowing with this pyramid tool and it gets me off to a good start. So we're going to we're going to start with the pyramid tool, okay? Here we go. See how I've got my tool marked there with a the little black line? That's how far I have to go in. This is a little round nose scraper, Wood River. Okay, what I need to do now is measure the thickness of this rim. That's 51 right on the mark. That's exactly what we need to be. Look at that. Four, right on the money. Excellent. Okay. So now we're done with the bottom. You can see. We've matched that up pretty close. A little bit of fine tuning here on the tip. Make this a little smaller, but that will take care of that when we sand. But everything else looks like it's right on the money. So the next thing we want to do is we want to shape this back, our bowl shape, our, our sphere, if you will. And we're going to take that back right here. Okay? So let's continue. Okay, we want this part to be 27 millimeters. So I'm going to mark that right there. I'm going to 
clear away some of the, I'm gonna clear, I'm gonna clear away some of the bulk. Okay, this back shape is not as critical as it was on the tippy top. The critical parts on this top are the rim inside here, the shaft, and the spin top point. Okay, at this point I want to get the diameter of the handle, the part you spin. A little bit more. I don't think it really affects it very much, so I just put a little bead in the cove up here at the beginning of it. It's a little decoration. I don't think it's necessary. I like mine to be a little pretty. I have found that if you bring the handle part to more of a point, it makes it easier to get a grip on it and for your fingers to give it that little flip that it needs. So this handle right here is acceptable. This is my favorite handle right there. I can really get a good grip on that and I can get a good flip. Spinning this is technique, all in the technique. The handle needs to be this long. Oops. So you can see I got just a little bit more. taking that shoulder off, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. I got this small top. From now on, I'm just going to be sanding, so I'm not worried about having a shoulder on that chuck. of a dome shape.
I think we're going to stop right here. This is a good place to stop. Uh, we'll take up the rest of it in the next video. In that video, we'll finish this. We'll put a little friction polish on it. We'll uh, part it off, and then we'll work on the catch tower. And the catch tower, we're just going to do the cup itself. Um, the base is elementary. Anybody knows how to make a base. And the pedestal part, that's pretty much up to you. You can put whatever design you want on it, so I'm not going to mess with that much. So the next video will be pretty short. So stick around. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Wood Pops on Spinning Tops. Let's go.